my channel today i'm actually doing a get ready with me i decided to be a beautiful angel today because bae is coming he's coming here for me actually he's not coming here for me he's coming here for business i just want to thank tika for uh, tika for sent me these contact lenses that i'm wearing this is supposed to be their sterling gray but it kind of looks blue maybe it's sterling gray but only blue now i'm not really be able to see for a while I used to wear glasses, you did not know. I used to wear glasses in secondary school, but I didn't like wearing glasses because they just used to hurt me here. And they used to give me that dent that I didn't like. And my dad wouldn't have me not wearing glasses, so he used to accidentally break. When he was tired of replacing it because of the accidental breakage, I stopped wearing glasses. So basically, if you're into beauty products, if you're looking to shop, beauty products their prices are very very reasonable they sell almost everything this is their instagram page shop with tika her page is pretty decent these are the lashes that i'm wearing today really gorgeous really pretty so let's get into this makeup tips. it's only god that woke me up this morning but my mother was the instrument that I used to wake me up she walked into the room shouting damn lady damn lady do you have the key I was like, yes, mom, I had the key. I, I always have the key because when I go out, I don't want to be banging the gates or because the bell doesn't work. So it's either you bang the gate or you scare the fence. And the fence is really high. Cause my dad is very protective. So I cannot scare any fence. So I always keep the key and she's always pissed off because she has to go downstairs, try to open the door. The key is not there, it's with me. So she has to come upstairs and my room is at the end of the hall. So it's just uncomfortable and inconvenient for her. So, let me just mute my phone. I don't want to mute my phone because I'm kind of expecting a phone call. So, be bing, bing, bing. don't be afraid. I took the key downstairs. I told her that I started keeping the key with me because I will be opening the door by myself. And I went downstairs and my dad's driver was around. The car he brought was not working. So that's how the driver said that Nikkei oh, come and see so the car is not working. And I said, oh, push the car. That's how I became a pusher. And then when he said, ah, put in energy, and I said, so I just woke up. My energy is loading. That's why I'm talking so sluggish right now because all my energy has been used to push car. We pushed the car, oh, so the car did not start. So all the pushing was in vain. So let's just get right into the nitty gritty of this, why I actually did this video was to tell you guys why I moved to Nigeria, what was my thought process, why did I decide to move at this time, you know, what happened was and stuff like that. I had decided to move to Nigeria before I graduated university. I am a very Nigerian at heart kind of girl. So I had it ingrained in my mind that I was going to move back to Nigeria once I graduated. So I was supposed to graduate in June, but something happened. Uh, the course that I took in second year was not a degree course, it was a certificate course. So I had to now go back and take a degree course to allow me graduate. So instead of graduating in June, I had to graduate in October. That was like the final straw of my depression. So I was depressed for two years, but nobody really knew. I was depressed for two years. My friends had left me. They were five very close friends and something happened and something happened and you know, everybody just went away. But like, it won't have bothered me, but the fact that you know they laid blame on me it just really affected me and that was the beginning of everything that i went through in terms of depression so i you know i went to sephora i was asked to leave sephora because apparently not even apparently i blamed somebody for stealing i know she stole and i know she gave it to her brother so wherever you are the only spirit is with you but it's fine they fired me because of that they said hey, I blamed the wrong person and they had to give her free stuff. So they fired me, but they, fired, they said, oh, we, we fired you because you don't come early. Bitch, I come before you, number one. And number two, I'm on top of my game. I get recommendations from customers who hate you guys. Every black person that walks into Sephora always walks to me because you always give us the wrong shade. So don't tell me anything about I was not qualified, I wasn't working my best. It was because of that incident that they fired me. But anyways, good results to bad rubbish. One day they would post me on the Sephora website. Can't wait for that day. 
I don't care if it's in 10 years or if it's next year or if it's tomorrow, but I know one day you will post me. After going through that, oh, you cannot graduate in June anymore. Now I forget that day. I just went to the upstairs of my building in Ryerson and I just cried. Like I wept and I was like, God, why me? For two years back to back, bad news or news that I didn't expect. And, and then on my birthday, nobody really wished me happy birthday. All the people that I thought were my friends didn't wish me happy birthday. So it just really, I just, and then I, I was broke at the time. I was so broke. I didn't have friends to ask for money. And even the people that I asked for money, they'll say, oh, I'll send you this. And we did not see the saint. We not see your hinter rack. We never did. And that's when I started my YouTube. That's when I did that. Oh, what's wrong with me video. That's when I bleached my hair. I just vexed. I just bleached my hair. And I did so many things out of my comfort zone. It all worked out for me eventually. Being in, being in Canada broke and, you know, not being able to produce content that I wanted to produce, how I wanted to produce it because... The space in my room was so small. I didn't like that. And I just felt like my room in Nigeria is way bigger and I can produce much more content. And also the love of my life is here. He lives in Nigeria. But at first, whenever I told the people who I called my friends at the time that I was coming to Nigeria, they would be like, oh, it's because of him. And I'm like, who the fuck has time to be switching lives to go and be transferring for a guy who has loved me since I was nine years old. I loved him more as a best friend because we were best friends for about 10 years before I decided to see where things would go. After I went through that depression, I just lost all, f all faith in the human race and I stopped expecting anything from anybody. I didn't tell anyone that I was coming to Nigeria. The people that found out found out by mistake. I just, you know, superstition now, moving here to pursue my dreams. I don't know who has any enmity against me so i just wanted to keep my mouth shut you know anybody to come and have leverage over my future because i mistakenly told them that i was traveling as so 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 this boy you know it now they say cnn news aeroplane going to nigeria found stuck in the air if you're my friend you understand why i didn't even open my mouth to say anything even at first me coming to nigeria was so difficult buying the tickets um you know Leaving, even I used to work at Nordstrom, so if you notice, my contact was bubbling. That was around the time when I was broke and I didn't have any job, so it was everything was just so exciting. Then I now got a job at Nordstrom, and I did I chose part time to work like three times a week, bro. They loved me so much, they used to make me work six times a week, and I needed the money because I was traveling, so I didn't even like complain. But my manager was Nigerian, so she understood. So some days I won't come and she knew that I was filming. Although I wish that, you know, when, you know, the attention was on my channel, I had more time to post. I'm moving to Nigeria. I'm just going to be here for about a year just to pursue my goals, see where this YouTube thing and this Instagram thing would take me because I'm really, I'm really loving the fact that I'm here. My videos on Instagram are popping. Just cause I love, like I have time, I have space, I have the energy. I eat like three times a day because mama's cooking. To be honest, Nigeria, <laughs> you just have to expect the worst so that when the worst comes, it's not that bad. Do you get? Do you get? So I didn't really expect much from Nigeria. And that's one thing that my pastor in Canada told me, he said, when you have expectations, you end up getting disappointed. It disappointed, so don't have expectations. Yes, but one thing that really, really ticks me off about this country is mosquito. As soon as I got it, I think they smelt my fresh blood, and they came to attack, that's her, attack her, attack her. So right now, I'm using my can Younger Beauty Candid Glow in the shade Yoa beautiful if you're in nigeria get you some of this candy glue it's amazing it is trust me it's amazing like you will not regret anything also this is another thing that you should make sure you get is the shomaya 15 color eyeshadow palette it's a beautiful pigmented underrated eyeshadow it's very underrated because it's really really good so i'm just going to go in with this um brown shade right here i really hate the mosquitoes they've dealt with me but i'm grateful that i've not had malaria the reason being that i drink a lot of water i drink like five of these a day like i drink a lot of water so water really really helps we don't want to fall sick just drink water and pd 
put the mosquito diseases away. Truthfully, through that depression, I learned to love myself. Like, I realized that, please, you need to love yourself because nobody will actually love you as much as you love yourself. And that's the honest fact. Like, love yourself. I was looking for love in the wrong places, to be honest. And it backfired because God used them to show me. I said, mm, you were looking for love in the wrong places. And I was really sad. I was like, God, why didn't you tell me on time? And he was like, I did, I did. You just didn't listen to me. I noticed that my views on YouTube have dropped exponentially because of the echoes, people are complaining. Maybe my content is just not as good anymore. But don't worry, I'm working on that. I just It's just so demo, demotivating to know that, you know, you can't really do much right now because your videos are just the echo is terrible and even right now myself i'm just just trying to be motivated and just trust god and know that he's with me you know y'all should just follow my instagram page to really really help you know to motivate me to work more i'm seeing more followers and tag my tag my pictures to your friends tag people you hate too so they know you know good thing let me do my skin and i'll be right back okay but to be honest, being in Nigeria has not been bad for me at all. Quite frankly, it has actually surpassed my expectations. Like I told you, I came here with the expectations that things would be worse. So I'm really not feeling the pain as much. But one thing I noticed is that internet here is so freaking expensive. Because I'm the one handling internet in the house. It's the one I'm doing is 28000 for one month. And the speed is great, yes, but it's not even as great as Canada. And in Canada, I don't even pay that much. They, and the funny thing is that these companies, I think they can choose to increase their speed. I think they just want more money. And that's why Nigeria is just, everything is money, 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 money. God will save us from all these thieving attitudes that people have nowadays. What do I expect to get out of Nigeria? I expect that Nigeria, the doors of Nigeria will be open to me. I don't really like talking much about my plans because like I told you, superstition, I just want to be on the safe side. I do not want to say I told my plan because that's happened before. I would tell someone my plan before I know it, the plan will not work out. Even when you know that ah, this plan is supposed to work this way now, it will not work out because they've called all their ancestors for them to shift the glory to themselves. You know, people are wicked. Don't be deceived. Don't be like... Don't be because you are a brother, you think these things don't happen. They happen, they actually happen. Mm. When you see that the life that you wanted to live, someone else is living it, and you know that your heart has that. That's your life now. They've taken your destiny and given it to their children. <laughs> they do it too, don't be deceived. Mm. Mosha, I don't like to dwell on the negative. I like to hope for the positive in everything that I do. So even if they take anybody's destiny, it's not my own. It's my enemy's destiny they will be taking. I hope to travel the world. That's my goal actually in this life. To travel to places, see things, carry my madness to different parts of the world. Let them know that it's not only them that have mad people, you know. I'm using the same highlighter I use for my eyes for my cheekbone. The highlighter is beautiful, right? Told y'all. Told y'all. I think I'm going to go with a dark lip color. People are always like, Nikkei, do nude. I beg you. I beg you, keep your nude to yourself. Okay, you know what? I'm going to try nude and then I'll see if I like it. No, no way nude. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I'm going with my dark colors that I'm used to. I'm sorry, I cannot do nude. Ugh, so boring. So boring. Anyways, I'm going in with this RLG cosmetic lipstick that I got from the Anita Brow Studio. I still haven't seen Anita Brows. I love her. I love her territory inside my body. That's it. Up, I give. I give up. Let me just clean the surrounding of the lip before we become a laughing stock in the public sphere. Okay, so it's time for the hair, and while I'm fixing my hair, I'll be talking about the echo in my videos, so be right back. I actually drenched this hair in a lot of water, so ah, I think I look nice. I love the wet look so much. This hair is from Ali Pearl Hair. 
I got the Malaysian natural wave in 18 inches. I just wanted something short to be honest. I was just tired of the lengthy, the lengthy hairs. I beg. I'm also getting tired of wearing wigs, you guys. But because Bay is coming today, I said, you know what, let me let me look my best. But man, I think I'm gonna remove this hair because it's nice and everything but the shade all hair shades let's just know that now so if you're buying hair the hair will shade except you spend like 700 dollars then you know that ah if the hair shade you go back to the company and you fight them you box them kill them arrest them sue them carry their company burn it down but for hair like this that just costs like max max 200 dollars 300 dollars the shades yeah, I was going to tell you guys about the echoes in my videos that I really need to address. So, I've noticed that my views have dropped substantially because, you know, y'all are finding it really hard to watch my videos because of the echo. And I'm so sorry. The reason why I have echoes in my videos is because my room is long. I called the carpenter to come about last week, but the guy didn't even show up. And we waited for him. I didn't go out that Saturday because I was expecting him to come. Couldn't reach him. But he probably turned off his number because he knew that maybe he had another appointment and he chose the other appointment. Like I said, Bay and Bay is coming, so he's going to take me to a carpenter. We're going to choose the wood. We're going to make a whole studio. So what they are going to do is they are going to demarcate my room into half. Half of it will be the studio and half of it will be my bedroom. So they will demarcate it with wood. The wood doesn't allow sounds to transfer. T and my mom said I should try opening the door. So right now as I'm filming, my doors are open so that you know the echo can reduce wait go and buy something that would keep this wet look because i love the wet look what do you guys think i don't know if you guys like it but i'm obsessed i love it so much <laughs> i'm so obsessed with how wet it looks anyways let me move back so you can see her thing that i'm giving you guys because i look i look good i look spicy i look sugary thank you ali pearl hair for sending me such an awesome hair i really like this hair I, this is not the first time I'm trying natural wave, but this is the first time I'm actually enjoying it. I feel choked with this thing. Maybe I shouldn't have like done it like this. For the things I put in my hair, I use water, coconut oil, and shea butter. So the shea butter acts as a conditioner, the coconut oil also acts as a conditioner, but it's just there for shine. And then the water just, you all know, to make it like liquider. So you guys, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Thank you guys so much for getting ready with me. I hope Ben likes this look. Or if he doesn't like it, then that's too bad for him. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share lots of your friends, family, or anybody about this world. Adios, amigos. Catch you later. Ah, uh, what's that? Peace.